Hey everybody, Kyle Goat here from GoatFilmReviews.com and the Goat Film Reviews YouTube channel, and I've got my first reaction to the new film Arcadian. This stars Nicolas Cage, and it just premiered on Shudder. The film did have a limited uh, theatrical release, but I did miss it during that time, so I was happy to check it out on Shudder. We also have an episode of Kyle and Nick on Film that's coming out about this movie, so you can check out my fuller thoughts once I've had a chance to ruminate on them. But for now, my quick reaction to the film is, eh. And it's unfortunate. Um, of course, I want to like every movie. but And I don't like comparing new movies. But this one is so, so singularly connected to A Quiet Place. I, I don't see any way in which this film did not outright rip off A Quiet Place. Because it's, it's right there. And I know every story has already been told. I understand that. But this movie hits every beat that A Quiet Place hits in the initial film, to the point where I might be spoiling the movie because it's a quiet place. Like, if you've seen that movie, this movie will not surprise you because it's a quiet place. Now, I get that, you know? Th th things can be different. You know, we always have these symbionts. We have our Olympus Has Fallen and our White House Down. We have our Deep Impact and our Armageddon. I get that. But this movie is so close to A Quiet Place that it gets really hard to watch because it's just kind of bland. And the thing is, if this had been done in a really bombastic, interesting new way, then sure, I'd be all for it. So real quick, the plot synopsis of the film is that Nicolas Cage plays a father of two boys um, during a apocalypse of sorts where creatures have invaded who only hunt at night. And so they kind of have to stay out of the darkness, uh, avoid that, but they're also like a family unit and the kids are making mistakes. So the thing about it is the idea of having to be quiet 24 seven for a quiet place is hard to do. The, the idea of never really being able to speak would be terrifying. The idea of not going out after dark, we already kind of have that fear. So it's not like this is different. Like. It's not like it really like does m enough with that concept to work. And I think that's that's the major problem with the film is that it picks a different kind of creature, a different kind of context for it. But it doesn't that that con concept doesn't really have the weight that being quiet all the time would have. So already you're starting off kind of behind. Uh, I don't think that the main characters are all that interesting. They're kind of stock. And even Nicolas Cage, who nor like recently, especially has been giving us some really interesting characters. I don't think his heart's in this one. Um, he's doing the best he can with the script, but he doesn't have much to do. And you can tell that they kind of needed to get him out of the film for a little bit because he's not in a chunk of it. Um, and I think part of it is that you know, maybe they just couldn't afford him, and so they focused on the, the two siblings. And I don't think either of them really have that much to do in the film of, of merit. There's some individual scenes that I think are interesting at the most, but not really compelling, not really exciting cinema. And I think that's the major problem that I'm having with Arcadian is I really want to like it. I mean, I, I, I want to like every horror movie that comes out. I want to love all the movies. And I know that that's not possible. And I think nowhere is that more apparent that I, I just really wish that this one would have worked out than Arcadian. Because I think there's some things you could do with the concept that might elevate the material. But it's just not done here. So overall, not a big fan of Arcadian. I think it's I think it's fine-ish. I don't know. I, I don't inherently hate the movie. I just don't think it's very good either. Um, let me know your thoughts on the film down below once you've streamed it on Shutter. Maybe you caught it in theaters as well. I'd like to hear your thoughts on Arcadian. You can check out Kyle and Nick on film for my... Wait, I'm jumping ahead here. You can click like and subscribe to help out the channel and never miss new episodes of the show. You can find my written reviews at GoatFilmReviews.com. You can also follow Goat Film Reviews on Facebook or me personally at Almighty Goatman on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and Threads. You can also find my show, Kyle and Nick on Film, where we have an episode on Arcadian. Um, you can check that out. We have new episodes of that show every single week. You can also find um, the Minnesota Film Critics Alliance link down below in the description. You can find other film critics and what they thought on Arcadian as well down below. Thank you so much for joining me. Let, leave your thoughts on the film in the comments section. I'd love to hear them. And we'll see you next time. Stay out of the dark.